Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm excited to have Sam Messman in the house here at Pixel Core. I love coming back here, Steve. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's great to have him because he's always got some uh, new workflow he's cooking up at the LumaForge Studio with him and his crew. By the way, his uh, uh, his whole operation is just expanding, and you know he's outfitting editors all over the world with jellyfishes and LumaForges. Right? Yeah, well, we're, it's, things have been really good. We're really excited about the new iMac Pro, actually. I'm going to drop a quick plug that it has a 10-gig port on it, so cannot be more excited about that. But, you know, the, the coolest part, actually, is now we've got a really dedicated crew that's all about getting back to workflow and helping try and make some things easier for people. Awesome. And speaking of making things easier, you have a really great tip to show us with regard to color correction and auditioning corrections. Yeah, so uh, auditions have been a seldomly used, I think, that showed a lot of great promise at the beginning, but I don't think anyone really quite figured out how to use them. And this is maybe a way to approach auditions now that we have the color tools that we want. It's sort of a versioning thing, much like you might have in Resolve, but there's a unique way to maybe do that, not just on the clip level, but maybe across an entire scene to preview looks for directors, and that's the... That sounds great. Let's, let's see it. So let's dive in. Okay, so basically... What we've got here, typically when you're gonna grade, you're gonna go and you're gonna apply a detailed look across each shot, right? But instead, what I've done here is I've applied a neutral balanced look for the entire scene. And the reason I've done that is because now I'm gonna play with looks across an adjustment layer in on a title because you can apply effects to titles. And this has, this is actually your adjustment layer from the Ripple training uh, oh. Tools Ripple set. tools complete. So that's an adjustment layer, and just mm -hmm. uh, so our audience knows, it's basically a title that you can apply any effect to, color grading, what have you, and it will affect every clip below that exactly. title. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to apply an effect to, uh, there's already an effect on here, which is a slight brightness effect that I put on here right. for an audition. And um, we're going to turn that into an audition. Right. So basically, when I go, so if we, if I turn this on and off, you're going to see a slight bright, brightness adjustment. Right. So I can preview for someone, do you want a little bit darker, a little bit brighter across the scene? What do you prefer? But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push shift command Y, and that's going to duplicate from original. Dupli create a audition duplicate. So now when I go ah. between the two, I can switch between a brighter or a less bright look within the audition. But I can do this a different way where if I duplicate as an audition, which is option Y, that's going to make a third option that's now brighter. So I have brighter, darker, brighter. Okay, but I so also have a color correction on here that I can now modify. Okay, so just to be clear for the audience, the first instance, you already had one, one clip in the audition where you had a, a brightness effect. Mm -hmm. Then you duplicated it as a second clip, but without the effect applied. Yes. And then the third time you duplicated the first audition that, it did, that had the, that effect, had the on. effect on it. Okay, I just want to be idea, clear. And so the key concept to know is that you can either duplicate audition clips as the original without effects on them, or to duplicate the effects you put on them to build on them. Okay, so that's what we're doing in this last audition. We're gonna build on this last We're gonna one. build on this last okay. effect. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna turn this green, right? And I'm gonna make this a really sort of depressing, uh, you know, institutional sort of setting. And I'm just gonna drag this out. Now this is very green. But now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take that, that green one and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate as an audition as an, an original now, and I'm going to do Shift Command Y. So we're back to the another audition without now anything applied off. to it. There's nothing applied to it, and now I'm going to go and I'm going to turn this blue. And the real idea is that you can start assembling looks quickly, and even go and uh, add some effects. So I can go and quickly add a uh, looks effect to this. So we'll go, or we'll add a light effect, just a simple uh, glow to it just to have it pop a little bit more so you can see something. And the interesting thing is now if you've neutrally graded everything to match across an entire thing, this applies a look to an entire scene as opposed to sticking something in a compound clip. Right. And you can quickly jump between using control option right and left to quickly cycle through looks with your director, decide what they want. And so let's say we settled on the green and now you've just applied a look to an entire scene so you can use your titles as an adjustment layer to do a scene grade and then use your individual clips and put, use auditions to manage your scene grades right. and then use the individual clips to get the actual color correction for the individual shot right to match. Really, it. really interesting. I really like it. 
Um, Fantastic. It's in just a couple of keystrokes, you can quickly, you know, swap through them and see the different looks. And add and add new ones as you like. And like, this is just a thing that you can, as you're building your looks and previewing some of this, this is a far easier way to, uh, without damaging anything and managing all this copying and pasting shot to shot, you can quickly build something and just decide how it looks. Pretty neat. Awesome. Well, I... I assume that's it, right? Yeah, I think that's uh, awesome. it. We're awesome. <laughs> well, thanks, Sam, for coming out to uh, Pixel Core here and showing us this cool tip. And uh, you want to check out LumaForge's company, doing some great things with shared storage and uh, working with local filmmakers and he's doing some really great stuff. So check out LumaForge, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode of MacBreak Studio. See you next time.